Welcome to the City News Bulletin. 185 people died from COVID-19 in 24 hours till 8 a.m. today, said a press release issued by the Director at General of Health Services. The total number of COVID-19 deaths in the country now stands at 16,189 and the death rate stands at 1.60%. At least 8,772 new infections were recorded during the period, taking the total number of people infected to 1,009,315. Added the release. The current positivity rate is 31.46%, while the total positivity rate stands at 14.56%. A total of 27,884 samples were tested across the country in the 24 hours. A court in Narayanganj on Saturday allowed the police to take eight people, including Sajid Group Chairman MD Abul Hashim, in their custody for interrogation in a case over Thursday's Narayanganj factory fire that killed at least 52 workers and dozens injured. Narayanganj Senior Judicial Magistrate Fahmida Katun passed the order responding to a police petition seeking 10 days remand for them for interrogation in the case, Narayanganj Court Police Inspector MD Asadazman told the media. Police have arrested 791 people for defying COVID-19 restrictions and health guidelines in Dhaka today, if Karul Islam, additional Deputy Commissioner of Dhaka Metropolitan Police, confirmed this information. With the latest arrests, at least 6,538 people have been arrested in the capital since the lockdown began on July 1st. Mobile courts fined 212 people DK 1.64 lock today, while DMP's traffic Division fined 361 vehicles DK 9.45 lock. The Eid al Azza will be celebrated in Saudi Arabia on July 20th as the crescent of Du al Hajjah was not sighted on Friday evening. Saudi Supreme Court said that the sighting of the crescent moon of the month of Dil Hajjah has not been confirmed Friday evening. Hence, Saturday is the 30th day of the month of Dil Qadda, and the Sunday is the first of the month of Dil Hajjah, the Saudi royal court said. Accordingly, the first day of Eid al-Adha will be on Tuesday, July 20, 2021, and, Hajj will start on Du al-Hajjah 8 when pilgrims head to Mina and end on Du al-Hajjah 12. Haiti has asked Washington and the United Nations for troops to secure its ports, airport and other strategic sites after the assassination of President Jovenel Moise opened a power vacuum in the crisis-hit Caribbean nation, an official said Friday. The United States has already said it will send FBI and other agents to Port-au-Prince, two days after Moise was shot dead in his home. Listening to City News Bulletin.